What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Dr. Hamas Tank. So today we're doing a speed RAM battery and benchmark test. In the first corner over here, we have the Galaxy S21, the entry level in the S21 series. It's rocking the Exynos 2100, 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. In the other corner, we have the entry level from the iPhone 12 series, the iPhone 12 mini. The specs here are exactly the same with the iPhone 12. We have the A14 Bionic chip, 4 gigs of RAM and over here 128 gigs of inside storage so what we're going to do is start up these two phones first and see which one does start up faster it looks like uh, let's see which one boots up faster and as you can see there over here on the iPhone 12 mini it's already in while on the S21 right about a few seconds behind it so we can see in most of the iphones usually they take very fast to load up over here it's ready to go whereas over here on the s21 it will take some time to load up both of these phones the battery is about 100 percent and they are connected to the same wi-fi and location is on on both of these phones and as we can see on both of these phones all apps have been closed to start this test So let's start off with the first one here, S49. All right, looks like the iPhone 12 is having a slight lead. And let's see which one loads up faster. And look here, the S21 with with the iPhone 12 just right behind it. Next up, we're going to Pokemon Go. Pretty neck and neck on both of these phones. And the iPhone 12 mini takes this round. Very clear win over there from the iPhone 12. Let's go to the next one, Instagram. About the same on both phones. Next up, we have YouTube. Faster on the S21. PUBG. This is a very large app, so we're going to see which one loads up faster. In the first big app, we had the S49. Looks like the S21 is having a slight lead. But as you can see there, the iPhone 12 actually pulls ahead with the S21 just right behind it. Next up, we're going to see Chrome. All right, it's pretty similar on both phones. Facebook, it's about the same on both phones again. Let's go to Shopee. Both are doing very well as well. Let's go to YouTube Music. Faster on the S21. Let's go to the settings. About the same on both phones again. Let's go to Manchester United. GGMU. A bit faster on the S21. Let's go to Premier League. Faster on the iPhone 12. Let's go to Netflix. Of course, the S21 here, because of the animation on the iPhone 12, it does appear slower. Let's go to the camera app. Let's see the selfie camera. Looks like both of them are really fast. Let's go to TikTok. Again, both are very similar. Go to Photoshop Mix. A bit faster on the S21. Let's go to Twitter. About the same on both phones. Let's go to the App Store. Let's go to the App Store. Both are really very fast. And that's it. 
So the battery over here has reduced to 2%, but over here still remains at 100%. So very impressive from the iPhone, but that's normally what it is. It does preserve the 100% very fast, but then between the 80 to 40%, it does drop out very fast. So now let's check out the RAM and let's go to S49. Both are loading up, so a fail for them. Let's go to Pokemon Go. Again, refresh on both phones. Let's go to PUBG Mobile. All right, this one did held up. This one did hold up pretty well. Let's go to Facebook. Yeah, still doing very well. Let's go to Twitter. No refreshes there, really good. Let's go to Manchester United. Again, both are also doing very similar. YouTube Music. Again, both are very, very similar. So yes, as you can see there, the speed and RAM test on both of these phones, the Exynos 2100 and the A14 Bionic chip is very, very similar. So now we're gonna do a benchmark test. So I'll close up all the apps behind. As you can see there, I have no button to close up all in one go. As you can see here, very easy on any Android device. So right now I'm gonna do a Geekbench test. So now we're gonna do a Geekbench test and all apps have been closed on both of these phones, as you can see. So now I'm gonna run the CPU benchmark and I'll see you guys in a little bit. So from what we can see right now on the iPhone 12, 12 mini is already about the halfway mark, whereas on the S21 is only about 40%. So it's pretty interesting over there seeing that over here on the iPhone 12 is actually performing a little bit faster compared to the S21. The battery on here is still at 100%, whereas on the S21, it's at 97%. Just keep in mind that over here on the S21 is running 120 hz at HD+, whereas over here you only have a 60 hz OLED display. So as we can see here on the iPhone 12 mini, about just two minutes for the test to be done. Amazing, amazing scores over here. 1,594 single core and a almost 4,000 multi-core score. Let's just wait a little bit more for the Galaxy S21. And over here, we can see on the iPhone 12, comparing it to the iPhone 11 Pro Max and iPhone 11, it is a bit significantly higher compared to the rest. And if you check the multi-core score, again, a significant difference compared to the earlier models. So here we have it, this is the final result of the S21. As you can see there, it's almost half of the score we get on the iPhone 12 mini. In terms of the multi-core score, it's doing a little bit better, but of course, it still can't beat the iPhone 12 mini over here. So there you have it, these are the results. But as you can see from the daily usage in terms of the speed and RAM, they are both performing about very similar. So you will not really experience too much, but when it comes to the scores over here, if you want to become a big ass nerd, you can see that scores there show you a significant difference between the iPhone 12 and the Galaxy S21. If you guys did find this video helpful, do click that like and smash that subscribe button down below for more videos like this in the future. Do also follow me on my socials as well on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and also here on YouTube at Dr. Hammerstein. So that is it. This is Dr. Hammerstein. Stay safe, take care and wash those hands.